we will learn something about polynomials like what they are and different types of polynomials so let's get started you might have seen these expressions 2x x square plus 1 x cube minus x so here you see in all these three expressions there is only one variable which is x all of them are polynomials in one variable polynomials are basically expressions in which the variable has only whole numbers as its powers like if an expression is x plus 1 by x which can be written as x plus x to the power minus 1 then this is not a polynomial because here minus 1 is not a whole number similarly y square plus 5y t square plus 2t plus 1 are also polynomials in one variables apart from these 2 5 minus 7 are also called polynomials these are called constant polynomials because in them this factor x has the power of 0 so these expressions are constant hence they are called constant polynomials similarly 0 is also polynomial it is called the 0 polynomial now if we have a polynomial which is a function of x a polynomial in a single variable like this one then we can denote it by px, qx or rx like I can write qx is equal to let's say 4x square plus 1 and rx is equal to 5 into x to the power 4 this is just a denotion now let's study about different types of polynomials let's first come to monomials monomials are polynomials which have only one term for example 3x square 2x 5 into x to the power 4 all these three polynomials have only one term so all three of them are called monomials similarly binomials binomials are polynomials which have two terms like x plus 1 t square plus 2t and u to the power 5 plus u all these three have only two terms hence they are called binomials similarly trinomials have three terms in them for example x square plus 2x plus 1 is a trinomial t cube plus t square plus 5 is a trinomial Similarly, any pol polynomial which has three terms will be called a trinomial. Now here you see that in this trinomial, the highest degree of the variable is 2. Like there are three terms, x square, 2x and 1. Here, in this term the degree of x is 0. In this term the degree of x is 1. And in this term the degree of x is 2. So, the highest exponent, the highest exponent in the polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial. 
for example if I write 5 into t ki power 6 plus 4 t to the power 5 plus t to the power 4 plus t cube plus 6 t square plus 1 so here exponent of this term is 6 exponent of this term is 5 you have 4 3 2 and then 0 so the highest exponent in this polynomial is 6 so the degree of this polynomial is 6 now why don't you tell me the degree of these polynomials r square 3t plus 1 x to the power 5 plus x square x to the power 9 plus 7x square plus 3 so let's see what's the answer for r square the degree will be simply 2 for 3t plus 1 it would be yeah right 1 for x to the power 5 plus x square the degree is 5 because the highest exponent is 5 and in this one the degree would be 9 now let's get to another classification of polynomials which is based on the degree of the polynomial like if I give you a polynomial let's say 5u plus 3 here the degree of this polynomial is 1 such polynomials which have that degree as 1 are called linear polynomials. In a linear polynomials, the degree is always 1. More examples of linear polynomials can be x plus 2, t, 3v plus 4 and so on and so forth. The next category would be polynomials having their degree as 2 like x square plus 5x plus 9, 3x square plus 2. In both of these polynomials the degree is 2 and hence they are called quadratic polynomials. Quadratic polynomials have the degree 2. Now if the degree of the polynomial is 3 like in this one. 10x cube plus 5x square plus 3x plus 100. In this polynomial the degree is 3. Such polynomials are called cubic polynomials now let's practice this concept tell me the degree of these polynomials 3x cube plus 5x plus 9 x square plus 3 2x plus 1 x cube plus 7x square so for the first one the answer would be a cubic polynomial because here the degree is 3 the next one the answer is a quadratic polynomial this one it is a linear polynomial and the last one is again a cubic polynomial 